everybody. We are so excited. We have decided to take this off of Facebook Live and go to YouTube. Yep, so you can, I don't know, I didn't have anything clever. <laughs> so that they Sorry can watch us whenever they want and not yeah. have to search back in the Facebook feeds, right? Well, there you go. That works. They can live on forever in YouTube. That's true. So now we're going to have our Drinking on Cloud9 YouTube channel. So I don't know where to go to. What's the. It's Drinking on Cloud9. Oh, yeah. I got that. Aren't you impressed? <laughs> <laughs> So, so you can go to Drinking on Cloud9 on YouTube and you'll be able to find our videos. And we're going to go and try and post up some of the previous ones we did on Facebook that everybody liked. Oh yeah. And, uh, and then you can follow along and watch the beer expert try and teach the non-beer expert how to um, taste their beer. And not just say it's hoppy or not hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, you're better than okay. Yeah. So today's to, episode. So today's episode is local beers uh, to the Tampa Bay area here. Okay, I was just gonna say, right? Yeah. Now we're on YouTube. People don't know what local means. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> local is Tampa. Local is Tampa Bay. Yeah. That is us. We are. We're at. We live in Lucky Chapel. And yeah. uh, today we're gonna be talking about what the studio is, but and we're Tampa folk. Yes, that's it. So the first beer is from Brew Bus, which is on Florida Avenue in Tampa. And this one is their Rolling Dirty. Rolling their, Dirty. Their Irish Red Ale. Nice. And I know you like Irish Red Ale. I do like Irish Red Ale. It's so, like Riding Dirty? Yes. Rolling Dirty? Rolling Dirty. Now I'm like hearing music in my head. <laughs> Just don't start singing. I won't dirty. start singing. So that's yeah. Rolling Dirty. Nice. From Brew Bus. Where is, where is Brew Bus exactly? Have you been to their brewery before? Yes. Um, they're, I want to, is it Columbus? It's at Columbus in Ooh. Columbus in Florida. It's right behind the uh, Galaxy Fireworks. Oh, okay. I yeah. know where that is. So drink beer, go get some fireworks, and have a great time. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. So how? Are, um, why is an Irish elf is not in Ireland? Is this just because it's Irish style? Yes. So they're like mimicking what they do in Ireland to make yes. their red ales. Or that one, at least. Yes. This one. Good. So what do you... It's um, it's got a little a bit of a bite to it. Yeah, it has a little apple taste on it. Yeah. Sits on there. Yeah. It's good. It's it, okay. Um, though. Yeah, well, it, it kicks you. It's not. Um, it's not smooth. No. Um, I need to come up with some good words. <laughs> what is it? It's um. Well, you don't get a lot. There's. Well, Irish ales normally don't have hops, like right. a lot of hops on them, even though they're all, they are hopped. But this one sits a little, it's a little more caramely on it okay. than it is oh, anything else. Yeah. So even if you tell me what it tastes like, then I know it tastes like that. Mm. I just can't come up with it on my own. I guess. I can that's tell you if here. I like it. I can well, tell you if I like it. Well, it's that's important, a, right? That's the very most important thing, if you like it or not. No, it is really good. Oh, that's cute. Well, they're, um... Their low, their can actually has a map of, of the Tampa area on it. That's pretty funny. Yeah, because they, they actually do the beer tours. Okay. So they do a lot of the beer tours here in Tampa. So they have the map as one of their key things on their cans. Nice. Well, and they tell you. See, <laughs> so they're smart because they're working with people like me who have no palate. And it says, notes <laughs> of caramel and toffee are balanced with a mild floral hop finish. There you go. There you go. See, I was close. You were. Right. I was impressed. All right. What we got next? Oh, I don't have anything to person. I better just chug it then. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. You're doing it on YouTube now, so mm -hmm. the time of this. Right? I know. <laughs> so this one is <clears throat> from Darwin. It's their Circa uh, 18, or 1926. It's their Tangerine Wheat Ale. Mm. So, I heard a door. Hey, can you give me a, um, we'll just, we're cutting this, so Rob, just cut it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pour glasses. Or I'm going to make really strong. Huh? And water. And water, yes, thank you. This is still cut, by the way. <laughs> we'll put it in our outtake reel later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get really drunk. I'm gonna get really drunk. Oh man, I didn't. 
burp on air. <laughs> Bro, add that in. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, so all right, so let's try that again. This is Darwin Circa from or Circa 1926. It's their tangerine wheat ale that they do. This has been in the can since 1926? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I didn't think you made <laughs> beer like that far back. Oh, no. That no, would no, be no. pretty stinky beer. No, no, no. Um, well, so Darwin is down by um, Sarasota area. Okay. Or Bradenton, Sarasota area. So um, I'm assuming it takes tribute to the circus. Um. Sorry. I don't like the circus. Why don't you like the circus? Clowns are scary. Well, I don't like clowns either, but... Circuses are dirty. They have, like, weird carny people that abscond with your children. <laughs> the circus scares me. I don't go. <laughs> don't laugh at me. So I don't like the circus. I can do a circus soleil. I don't feel like anybody's going to kidnap my children at circus soleil. <laughs> You've watched way too many movies. I have watched movies. way too many movies. All right, so circa 1926 tangerine. Oh, so it's a fruity beer. Yes. So I should taste tangerine. Yeah. I like yeah. when I put what I'm supposed to yeah. taste in the title. Yes. Then I know what I'm supposed to taste. Yeah, you should taste tangerine. Ooh, very citrusy. Mm -hmm. That's a good Florida a brew then. Mm -hmm. Pay homage to not just the area, but the state. I'm trying to see if it said about circa, but it does not say about circa. Uh, I know it uses the citra hop. That's about it. Hmm. It, goes, it like. goes great with pork, tacos, fish, sriracha, uh, salad, and seared chicken hmm. with fresh fruit. Well, there you go. Thank no. you, Darwin, for telling yeah. us how to eat with your beer. Yeah. Should have got some fish tacos today. Mm -hmm. But it would. I can see that. It's a very light beer. Oh, yeah. It has a nice flavor. Definitely kind of nice, outside. Yeah, there's not a really bad aftertaste. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to drink. So, oh, goodness. There you go. There you go. You hey, first. My first. My first burp of the, of the show. Yeah. Um, so, if you're looking for something in the heat when you're grilling, I can totally see yeah. um, wanting to drink this. It's just nice and has a good taste to it. Yeah, nice weed ale. Yeah. Light. One of these days I'll be able to taste the difference between like, the types of we'll oats. Oh, I know. It'll actually blindfold you and really bring out the sense. Oh, of Lord. You know, Erin made me, she watched um, a Master Chef with mm -hmm. Gordon Ramsay, but she likes to watch that show. And so she ended up setting up a blind taste test at home for me. Oh. It was pretty funny. <laughs> and um, yeah, pretty scary too. It was like, what are, what are the options? Um, so she did lots of things. She found different pieces of fruit and stuff in the house and, um, and then like different snacks and things like that. So it was easy, a little bit easier than not knowing what you have in your house and someone doing a taste test. So I was able to kind of go, all right, it's soft, it's cold. What could I possibly have in my fridge she could have grabbed? <laughs> yeah. I understand that one. So this one, the next one is, I believe the area is called, I always get it mixed up. It's either Clearwater or Feather Sound area or it's in that in between, say, somewhere e, closer Largo to the water than here. Yeah, Largo ish. E. I want to say Largo. Hopefully, they say everything. It just says Clearwater. So, that okay, works. Clear so water. Clearwater. Uh, this is Paradise Brewing's Strawberry Blonde. Oh, nice. So, yes, you should taste strawberries in this. I should taste strawberries in this. You even have strawberries on You're the You're helping me out today, Rob. So, stra they're Strawberry <laughs> Blonde that they do. You just didn't want me to be embarrassed in our first YouTube one like it was last week, but I'm like, I don't know what I taste. I don't taste anything. Um, well, it's funny. I, I met, hung out with these guys this past weekend, and they did a jalapeno lime beer, and it was pretty damn good. Didn't have a lot of, like, the heat, but it was just, like, the flavor of the right. jalapeno. Yeah. So really nice. Mm. I can smell a little free. smelling it. Mm-hmm. Being from Plant City, I appreciate this beer. Oh, it's like sparkling a little bit. The 
that just comes out. This is foam. Oh, I'm like, oh, it's like a little sparkling beer. Okay. It's crisp. Very crisp. Um, I, I smell it more than I smell the other beers. Like there's an actual mm -hmm. scent to it. Yep. But the strawberry definitely comes through mm -hmm. on the taste on this beer. <clears throat> That's different. It's, um, I don't know if I would drink a lot of it. Okay. But I like the taste of it. Okay. It's, um, I think it's a good, like it has an interesting taste that you would like, oh, that's, you know, that's interesting. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would sit down and, and like chug a full six pack. Huh. Not that I chug a full yeah, six pack. Yeah, I was going to say, what are you doing here? Like, oh, what am I ever doing with that? Hmm. Now I actually like this one. This, I can drink a six pack of it, though. In the right moment. In the right moment. In the right moment. So that's, that's pretty funny. That's good. I like the strawberry. Oh, yeah. That makes it a little fun. And I can see why you would especially like it being from Plant City. Mm hmm. I know what happened. I think that's a little bit. All right. And what do you got next? That is. Yeah. 
Um, and maybe because it was more fruity and I'm not as fruity of a... I'm not as fruity. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> um, I don't... I, my, fruity beers are not as big of a thing for me. So, the sweet gotcha. aspect of it. So. Awesome. Well, yay. I yeah. like the local episode yes. today. We'll have to do another one. We do. There's so many... Tampa is There's huge. Tons. Yeah, we got like... Where do we rank in the country as far as local breweries? I don't know because it's always changing. I know. It comes seems like out, there was what Montana has like 70, 80 beer breweries in Montana. Okay. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. But yeah. But yeah, I know we're We're up we, there. We have we're up there based on the type of beer, quality of beer. Quality of beer. We have a lot of high name breweries in yeah. this area. So yeah. that's always a good thing. That is. And and it's fun to go out. I the brew tours are a lot of fun. Oh yeah. And um, we, we still got to plan ours. I know we got to plan ours together. Well, we're gonna go to the Lightning Brew Fest next weekend. Yes, we are. That'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys are able to go out there and and, and go enjoy some hockey mm -hmm. arena fair with the uh, with some beer. With some beer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you all have a great day and go try one of these three beers or all three of these beers. Oh yeah. We'll be glad you did. And you can get them from ABC. So check it out. Oh, even better. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice and easy. Cheers. Bye.